on the 31st of March 2023, which was International Trans Day of Visibility, the Church of Sweden, the largest Christian denomination in the country, posted this on Twitter. The tweet reads, God, I pray for all trans people who suffer, are oppressed, are killed. I pray for those whose name I'll never know, who have been forced to live a lie. Help me strive for a better world where everyone gets to be themselves. Amen. Hashtag transgender day of visibility. Hashtag trans people. Hashtag LGBTQIA. Now, I'm not a big fan of religion, but this was of course a very nice thing for the Church of Sweden to post, and a lot of comments agreed, offering the Church of Sweden a lot of praise for the tweet. A lot of conservatives, however, were predictably furious, especially since just a few days earlier the Nashville school shooting took place in the US a school shooting where the perpetrator was trans, and the victims were teachers and students of a Christian school. Here are just a handful of the angry comments. I am so glad to have left your satanic church. How can you do this to God and call yourselves Christians? I myself pray for the Church of Sweden to be a home for Christians. Sadly, that feels very distant when I see posts like this. Which god are you praying to? This is not my god. I pray for your salvation. You're doing Satan's work. Blasphemy! And then you wonder why you are losing members. To which the Church of Sweden responded, We have a good view of why we're losing members. The predominant reason is that people don't believe in god. However, the by far most common response from conservatives were messages that were some variant of this. Children at a Christian school are shot to death by a trans person, and the Church of Sweden chooses to pray for the assailant and their kind. Great. This sort of response is what I'm really interested in and want to discuss. The ones that point to this post somehow being an insult to Christians and the Church of Sweden siding with trans people who do school shootings. But I want to highlight one of the responses by the Church of Sweden because it's really good and handily enough begins to make my point for me. We commemorated, as we have previous years, Trans Day of Visibility. We don't stop praying for a group of people because one individual in that group commits a crime. If that was the case, we could pray for no one. We pray for everyone. And yeah, that leads really well into the main crux of this video. It isn't shocking that Christian conservatives will call people satanic and be upset for posting trans right stuff, especially when it's the church saying the pro-trans stuff. What is more interesting is just the level of motivated reasoning that goes into people posting about the idea that this is inappropriate timing and this essentially being spitting on the dead Christian victims. Because the people who are complaining about the Church of Sweden's actions would never apply the same logic to very simple, comparable scenarios. These people would never call it inappropriate for the Church of Sweden to post about International Men's Day just because a man had recently done a school shooting. They would never say that an endorsement of Father's Day is an endorsement of dads who abuse their family or murder people. That would be an insane position. However, how come the same logic suddenly doesn't apply when the subject matter is a trans person. Suddenly, it's the wrong time to celebrate because one trans person had recently done something terrible. So why is that? What causes their reaction to be so different in this situation? Part 1. Why this reaction? Because it has nothing to do with the Nashville school shooting. It is because they are transphobes and they will use anything they possibly can find to help justify their feelings of disgust at the mere mention of trans people and their intuitive feeling of anger for anyone uttering support of trans rights. Part 2. Yeah, seriously, that's it. No more analysis required. This video isn't a big analysis. I just think it's an interesting example of two things. 
one rare and the other very common. The rare thing is a major religious group being based on pro-trans rights. The very common one is that conservatives, and people in general for that matter, will apply very motivated reasoning in a situation depending on their relation to the core subject at hand. The people who commented on the Church of Sweden's post only had this reaction because they already don't like trans people. The Nashville school shooting had nothing to do with it besides being a tool to justify their pre-existing feelings. Even if there had been no Nashville shooting, they would still have been upset. They would still have thought the post was inappropriate. They are simply using a school shooting in a way they would do in no other circumstances, because they merely use the shooting to justify their feelings of discomfort and disgust at trans people, which lies at the heart of all anti-trans ideology. They are just fishing for something to make those feelings seem more justified to the world around them and to themselves. But if there was no better justification, if there was no shooting, their discomfort would have been enough justification for them, and they would just be another person posting that the Church of Sweden has become satanic or call it blasphemy, because the core of their disapproval is not sympathy for the victims of a school shooting, it is disgust and discomfort at the reality that trans people exist and anger at any recognition trans people get. Thank you for watching this video. I haven't posted in ages, so I just wanted to make sure I got something out for Pride Month, but I am making a concerted effort to post more videos soon. The world is sadly a scary place for a lot of trans people, so I hope everyone stays safe out there and has a good Pride Month. Please comment to tell me what you thought, especially since I'm exploring a shorter format with this video. And please offer suggestions for topics I should cover in future videos. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support me, my Patreon and PayPal are in the description below. Trans rights are human rights. Thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.